story making it big on social media. We do a lot of fun things uh, a lot of times during this uh, part of the show. Not so much today. Uh, it's about an old photo that's popped up in Chicago, and it is stirring up new racial tension in that city. The picture shows a pair of white police officers posing in what appears to be a hunting photograph, but it's far from it. CNN's Ben Bradley has more on this disturbing image. This is a photo Chicago Police Brass didn't want the public to see. Two special operations officers, rifles in hand. One has his hand on the throat of an arrestee who is wearing deer antlers. As far as I'm concerned to that officer, good riddance. You don't belong in a police department. The FBI uncovered the photo during its investigation of the former police officer on the left, Jerome Finnegan. He was convicted of leading a crew of rogue cops who shook down drug dealers and stole hundreds of thousands of dollars. Finnegan was also convicted of plotting to kill another police officer. The other special operations officer in the photo is Timothy McDermott, a decorated detective who told the police board that he only very, very vaguely remembered posing for the picture. He said, I remember walking through the police station and someone saying, hey, Timmy, take a picture. Our whole idea of a police department is there to uh, serve and protect, and the values expressed in that photos are not the values of the people of the city of Chicago. Black lives matter. While the photo is at least a dozen years old, what it symbolizes makes news almost every day. Mistrust of the police. That photograph may have actually stayed hidden if the department hadn't fired the other man in it. Timothy McDermott is fighting the firing now in court. Yeah, his lawyer is saying there's no evidence the man in the antlers was being photographed against his will. And while neither side of the court case wanted the picture made public, a judge denied the request. The picture ended up in the Chicago Sun-Times, and it's taken off from there. I, it, it almost harkens back to like the Jim Crow era, you know, in the 1920s or right. 30s. It's so, it's, it's so just vicious a disgusting and it's intense. Photograph. Just awful. Uh, disgusting. So I'm, gl I'm glad they're addressing it there and very harshly.